yes, we have had a few questions. As a reminder, we did leave a little bit of extra time so Steve can really dive into your questions related to this topic, related to your firm, maybe in an even bigger perspective. So don't be shy out there. Uh, but we did have a question come in. This person asks, as someone deeply invested in sustainable building, I'm curious to learn what approach is best for the process of finding, evaluating, and selecting new building materials. Specifically, what factors or criteria are most important to do this in the most productive and efficient manner when there is so much to choose from? There is so much to choose from, and it it's constantly growing. Uh, so I think that a uh, couple things. One is joining, um, go, uh, certainly attending um, conferences that relate to these kinds of building materials uh, is one way to do it. Uh, uh, knowledge committees, certainly if you're a member of the AIA or some other industry that has uh, resources for you where you could be in a Let's call it a peer group, be with other people to help uh, uh, get outside of your own firm's head and start looking at what else is going on. Uh, the internet makes our ability to explore um, a, a, almost like this uh, bottomless pit. Uh, you could almost get caught up in it too much. But uh I, I would think that there are these knowledge communities that are probably the best place if I was going to think about it to find other like-minded people who are really looking for uh, the topic that you are interested in, in this case, sustainability. Uh, I always find attending uh, conferences incredibly um, helpful because I'm exposed to thought leaders who are presenting these ideas to us and um, reaching out to them afterwards when it seems right and having my eyes open to other things and new new methods of doing things. So you got to get out of the office uh, because you're if you're just staying inside of your own office, uh, that's not broadening it uh, enough. Uh, but it's a good problem, and it's not just a problem with one area of expertise like sustainability. It's uh, with every every service that you provide is um, finding other people who are in this area as well, and just sharing, being a sharing member of the community. Uh, is important, not just uh, being a, a, a someone who's a, a leech at the community you know, area, just observing, but also uh, contributing. Great. Thank you for that. Sure. Um, another question that came through from Caitlin asks, um, do you have any different advice for non-firm owners, i.e. everyday employees, any additional advice for those who are looking to get a jump start on these things before they develop their own future business plan? These things. Um, <laughs> uh, well, first off, I, I would like to impress upon you if you're at a firm and you don't see a future at that firm. So you know you're going to want to launch elsewhere. Um, you need to get your head into the right space. My general belief is if you find yourself at a firm, you should see the opportunity for you in the future to be at the top. And everything you do is to make that firm better. Uh, you can take your time and effort and start thinking about your own future, or you can take that time and effort and invest it, invest it and show those around you and uh, you know the firm owners uh, how important it is for you, to you. Uh, that's how you rise up in the company is by helping the firm become better. So I, I don't know this per particular person's uh, own situation. Um, I knew when I was working, I was working at one of the largest firms in the world at the time. And I knew uh, I needed to move on in my life. Uh, I did uh, spend my nights building out. It, I spent about six months in the evenings building out what my life would be like when I did cut the cord. So I actually built the, the back end systems for how the office would operate, doing it on my own time, learning from the mistakes of the firm I had been working with, but uh, getting taking their best practices, but also putting my own spin on it. So, but that was on my time. But I'm generally a great believer, unless you want to create your own office uh, from scratch, 
it is inc- the, the leverage of moving into a business that already has the momentum and proving to those business owners that your future leadership is a far better prospect than just like the same way it is, is to start investing in the stock market for stock that's not a penny stock, but actually has become adopted and, and is really on the move is far smarter than starting a business all, all, all from scratch. Uh, I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from opening their own business. Much of my own businesses have been a- about helping people build their own businesses. But it's the way this person asked the question is, is demonstrate to the office how well you can make their firm. And then if you want to go on your own, take that, take that with you as well. 